Hey guys, Neely here. I'm coming in for a recipe today. It is a hot dog wrap recipe. It's kind of like a pretzel dog. The dough turns out to be a little bit pretzelish. Um, although I don't do the step of boiling the dough before cooking like you would with a pretzel, but it still has kind of that pretzel flavor. I just made a big batch here, a big double batch, um, and I am letting them rise. I'm gonna be cooking half of them and putting the other half in the freezer. This recipe is great as a freezer recipe. When I make it, that's usually what I do because everyone wants some right away. So I cook a bunch and then I put a bunch in the freezer for another meal. So I will show you the first step. It is something you have to kind of start in advance. The dough is a no knead dough, which means it needs to take about 12 hours to rise. So it's a great thing to do the night before. The dough recipe is super, super simple. It's only four ingredients. I have already in my bowl three cups of flour. Then I'm gonna add two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of yeast, and one and a half cups of water. Now I'm just gonna mix all that up until it's fully combined. It just took a few seconds to get it all combined, but it is a no need recipe, so it's super, super easy. Now all you're gonna do is put some plastic wrap over the top and leave it on your counter for somewhere between six and 18 hours. I usually just do it overnight and then get it get to it the next morning, maybe the next day at lunchtime. And if it ends up that you're not able to get to it after 18 hours, I would recommend putting it in the fridge and that will slow down the um, yeast so it doesn't get overproofed. It's actually been about 48 hours now. Um, I didn't get to it as fast as I expected, but after 12 hours, I stuck it into my very cold garage because it is the middle of winter here and it's been very cold the last few days. So it was kept very cold in the garage. I'll show you what it looks like. It just, it rises and gets kind of bubbly and it is a very sticky dough. So it's a little bit difficult to work with, but if you have some extra flour to dust on your hands and dust on the top of this, it works quite well. So I will show you how I wrap each hot dog. These are the hot dogs I'm using. I get the ones from Trader Joe's, but of course any hot dogs will work. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just sprinkle some flour over the top of my dough here and get my hands covered in flour. And then all I do is just take a chunk of dough at a time, about like this and I kind of flatten it out, doesn't have to be pretty. Then I'm just gonna take a hot dog and just work it around kind of like Play-Doh until I've gotten it all covered. And it gets a little sticky, and when it gets sticky, you just get a little more flour and get, it's kind of a messy process, but you get the hang of it. And then just to make it all uniform, I'm just gonna roll it a little bit in my hands like this. And there is one of the hot dog wraps. And I'm just gonna put it on my pan and keep going until I'm done. And this amount of dough will make about 12 hot dogs, which is about one and a half eight packs, because they usually come in eight packs, which is why I usually double this recipe and do three eight packs of hot dogs and then double the recipe of dough. I'll just do one more here for you so you can see. This is a fun thing for older kids to help with. The littler kids kind of just make a mess, but the older kids could do it. It's kind of like playing with Play-Doh. Cover up all the holes. It doesn't have to be perfect. They don't have to look pretty. I've tried um, before putting the dough, dough out on the counter and rolling it out and trying to you know, make long skinny strips to wrap around the hot dog, but that just ended up being way too much work and this just ends up being faster and easier and you don't have to get the whole counter dirty. So I'm just gonna keep going one by one until I get them all done. We got them all wrapped and I only have eight because I only had one pack of hot dogs left, but I have a little bit of dough left over. If I had had enough hot dogs, it would have made 12. I also wanted to mention that you can skip the step of making the dough and use um, pizza dough that you get from your grocery store in the cold section. It works great for these pretzel dogs. So now we're gonna let these rise for about an hour and we'll be back to show you the next step then. So an hour has passed and they've risen a little bit 
And now this next step is totally optional. If you want to take the quick and easy route, you can skip this step. These are totally ready to bake right now or throw in the freezer if you're going to be cooking them later. But if you want to get that uh, pretzel effect where it's nicely browned and then the salt on the top, um, you can do an egg wash and then sprinkle with salt. I'm using kosher salt, um, but if you had like a coarse salt that's more like a pretzel salt, it would give it even more of that pretzel effect. So all I'm going to do is just with my basting brush, and this is just one scrambled egg, I'm just going to paint it on all of the hot dogs. All right, they're all covered in the egg wash. Now I'm just going to sprinkle them with salt. And now they are ready to throw in the freezer if you're going to be cooking them later, or if you're ready to cook them, they're ready to throw in the oven. Um, I tested it out and it actually took about the same amount of time to cook when I cooked them fresh as it did when I cooked them frozen, which is 30 to 35 minutes. So these ones I'm going to go ahead and throw in the freezer. And through the magic of television, I have some here that are already frozen and I'm just going to show you how to cook them now. I'm just going to lay them out on the pan. The nice thing is you can pull out as many as you need to cook at a time. And I'm going to preheat my oven to 400 degrees. Now I'm just going to bake these in here for 30 to 35 minutes. And I'll show them to you when they're done. And here they are. You can see they got kind of brown on top. And they're also nicely browned on the bottom. That's how you know they're done. These will get eaten up super fast around here. Everybody loves them. It's one of those that I make and then I turn around and they are gone. That is it for my pretzelish dog recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be back again soon. Talk to you later. Bye guys.